and NVC3. Uh, my name is Scott Hanselman, and thank you very much. Heat me up. Heat me up, audio guy. Are we still recording? No? All right. I got to show, heat me up. I'm going to, even if we're not recording, I got to show migrations. Oh, crap. Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. Even if we're not recording, this is still worth staying for. Hang on. Sorry, I just got worked up. I had a tear, and it was just. <laughs> All right. So this guy here, so fresh and so clean, models. Let's go ahead and hit the, uh, hit the database. Why is he telling me that that's in use? Do I have it open twice? Yes. All right. Person, controller. Do, do, do. Person. OK, so we have person controller, SQL Management Studio. Make sure it exists. So fresh and so clean, tables. People, columns, first and last. Okay? All right. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to say add package reference, EF migrations. Oh, I got to do it from the console. Install package, EF migrations. Good. I'm going to change it to public date time birth date get set come down here if I type alias migrate as you can see that migrates actually an alias for update database schema Hit migrate it's going to look at the database context the object the code and then it's going to look at the table it's going to compare the two, and it's going to figure out what it's going to do to the table to get it to the same mode that the code is in. And then it throws out a script to go and alter that table. So now I pop back over into SQL, hit refresh, bam. So they are working on migrations. We will see migrations very, very soon. Take a look at the ADO.NET team blog comment on the work that they're doing. Hopefully we'll see some bits that we can give you soon. And make sure that if you see a migrations guy walking around that you thank them for letting me show a daily bill that mixed today to you guys. All right, thank you.